Hey guys, it's Kale. Um, today is Saturday, August 4th, 2012. I am six months on testosterone. I am, as of this past Tuesday, July 31st, um, 26 and a half weeks on T. Um, let's see. I'm kind of, I can go, yeah, I'll just go into it. I'm kind of really discouraged right now, actually. Not discouraged, just, um, fresh upset, I think. Um, I seriously just got back from, from Walgreens, and I had to buy tampons again. Oh, which is really upsetting, because I thought that was going to be done. I mean, I don't care. I'm going to talk about it. It's personal, whatever. Like, it's all personal. <laughs> so, um... Because I thought that I was going to be done with this, and I was like five days late. I'm like, oh man, so close, I bet I'm done. I was trying not to let myself think that till I made it a week, but uh, alas, no such luck. So that's really upsetting. Um, I do want to say... A lot of women out there, a lot of cisgendered women out there, are always like, Ugh, like generalized men, a lot. And, you know, all like, men don't understand this, that, and the other thing, and especially, particularly when it comes to getting a menstrual, menstrual cycle. And it's like, yeah, I like to, to bat, not bash, but like, I get like, oh, cis guys could never handle this. Like, it's true, absolutely true, but to make the general statement that men don't know what it's like, that the physical pain is like, yeah, that's not a true statement, actually. There's plenty of us guys who, who do know what it's like, um, and there's plenty of, of women out there who have no idea what the emotional pain is like for trans guys having to go through this. So don't be so quick to judge, probably. Not that, not that there may not be a physical or emotional pain associated for some women, I don't know. Um, but there's plenty of men who, who understand the physical pain and uh, who have a very great emotional pain that goes with that. Um, so, yeah, and I, I was like refusing to go to the store to buy more stuff for that. Like, I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, I refuse, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it. And then I just, in my mind, I was thinking somehow, like, that would make it stop if I just didn't. That does not work. And, um, so I was kind of ang anxious about that. And I was, like, going in the store. I was, like, trying to avoid it. Because I'm only there for the one reason. And, uh, I go in there, and I'm just like, oh, God. And I'm, like, in the aisle. I'm, like, looking around, making sure no one sees me. And I, like, grab stuff. And... I, like, go to the front, and it's just this, like, you know, you're just, like, walking there, just like, oh, this is awful, like, you don't know what to do, you're, like, I'm praying that he, the guy's just gonna assume that, like, I'm buying it for my girlfriend, or, I not have a girlfriend, but, like, a girlfriend, or something, anything, and, um, so, you know, you go up there, and you just try your hardest to, like, make it seem completely, like, whatever, hey, dude, what's up, you know, like, just don't dissociate it as much as possible. Like, assume that that's what you were going in there for. But, like, it's awful to, like, have to to do that. And you don't know what the other person's thinking at all. You have no idea. And, um, and you just don't want to have to be buying in the first place. You're like, gee, many Christmas. I'm six months on testosterone. Like, this, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't stop for a while. Sometimes it stops right away. It just depends how lucky you are, I guess. Um, and so, yeah. I mean, and, there, and there's shots that I can, like, take and stuff. It just messes with your emotions and all that. I just don't need more of that. So, I don't know. I'm figuring it out. But I just, like, leaving there, I was just so upset. Like, it was done and it was quick. You're just trying to get in and out as soon as you can. But um, it sucks. A lot and um and I came home and like I'm just dropping stuff as I try to get in the door and my roommate's boyfriend I don't know I don't think he know I don't know if he knows I really don't think he does we've never talked about it and we're we've gotten closer and closer but we but I've never talked about being trans or anything and um 
and I'm just like, oh, okay, it's in this plastic bag, and I thought I had stuff, like, covered up enough, and he opened the door, he's like, you know, hey, and, like, looks down, and, like, I just walk in, and I, like, walk through the door, and I, like, look, and, like, the plastic was, like, right up against the, the cardboard, and it just said tampons, and I was, I'm mortified right now, like, I just started making this video right after that. And I'm just like, I don't even know. He knows that I'm not seeing anyone. Like, maybe he didn't even see it or pay attention. But that's mortifying. Absolutely mortifying. So, I'm not happy right now. Uh, it's been a rough couple weeks. Um, I'll try to... Okay, so, some of the updates. I'm hairier all the time. That's for sure. Um... Get, I'm getting some more, you probably can't even see it on camera, getting some more stuff here and here, um, which is nice that, that it's starting to come in. It's like kind of like a teaser, it literally is like watching grass grow. I'm not going to complain because I know I'm going to get facial hair, but it's just like, holy crap. Um, but yeah, so there's that, legs, hair. I don't know, they're pretty hairy. I get hairy up here, um, my stomach. It's hairy. Uh -huh. I'm getting some on the chest a little bit and and stuff back a little bit. But other than that, it's just mostly the hair. I think the voice continues to drop ish. Um, I made some notes a like a while ago on what I was gonna just bring up. Um, I don't feel like this has gone by fast. I started to a friend I don't know like a month ago. And he was thinking, like, oh, man, it's gone by so fast, blah, 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 these four months. And I'm just like, dude, like, are you serious? Like, I, no, six months? It's like, it's only been six months. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I just, I don't have a whole lot distracting me necessarily. Like, during the day, like, I, I have a pretty mindless job. And so it's like I have eight hours a day to just sit there and think about all this stuff and check my facial hair <laughs> or any hair like 12 times <laughs> during the day and just stare at it and see if anything's happening. So that makes for a really long six months. Um, so I don't feel like it's gone by fast at all. I think it's gone really slow. Um, I don't know. I feel like June went by a little bit faster. I think I was on vacation for like a week. I think that's probably what helped. Um, so I'm trying to think what else. Um, it's interesting how, when I look at old pictures of myself, how like feminine I looked. Like it blows my mind because I mean it makes sense. Like yeah, I'm not on testosterone then um, prior to transitioning and just everything like that. But it's like I, I look more and more of myself as I see myself in the mirror as time goes on. But then, like, you never, I never realized, though, how feminine I actually looked. Like, the way I look now in a certain light is how I always thought I looked and how I always saw myself. So then, like, going back and looking at pictures, I'm like, oh, no wonder. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I, it's, it's mind-blowing, really. And so it's an interesting thing, though, as you're simultaneously waiting to really see yourself in the mirror. And knowing that you didn't then, but it's just this bizarre perception thing, I guess. It's it's just, it's really interesting. Um, so that I guess I've been thinking about. Um, oh, I did go up this past Tuesday to point three um, for testosterone. Um, I just felt like I was still feeling the T cycles and that I could go up if my levels had been normal because my doctor had said initially like she did not want me going over 0.25 at all and then I asked her and it was like yeah sure and I'm like okay that would have been fun to do earlier <laughs> um so I don't know if like she just been wanting me to wait for a little bit to do that but that was really frustrating because I'm like I feel crazy sometimes and this also cycle has not stopped like what's up so it was like no problem to increase it but I thought I was never going to increase it again so <laughs> I'm frustrated. So I'm glad that that was able to be moved up. Um, acne. Bleh. Back knee. Ridiculous. But I think a lot of that is a binding situation. Oh my gosh, the binding situation. Got it. I had a, a friend had a, an extra binder that I use, that I'm using. I am just buying it from him. Um, because I wasn't. Sorry about that. My camera turned off. 
Um, but yeah, just haven't been binding as well. And so, um, yeah, the mediums are like too loose now, and the smalls are just super tight. Um, but I'm going with the small because it binds better than the medium. And I think some of it is just the way, like, my, my muscles have gotten bigger, but the breast tissue's gotten, like, a little bit sh smaller, maybe. Um, I don't know, but it leaves, like, these impressions on the side, and, like, after I wash it, it's just, like, ultra tight. Can't really breathe very well at all. Um, but, I don't know, like, it's frustrating, because then you're like, I can't breathe, and, oh yeah, this is why. And, um, it's just a constant reminder, and... I mean, I'm a pretty small-chested guy, so I don't even know if, you know, if there's a lot of people who are much bigger chested than I am, for sure, and and I know I had a friend who was wearing two binders, and I just remember, you know, he, after he had surgery, he was just saying, huh, eh, this is the best that I haven't had a breath like this in a long time, and so it's just like, ah, that's horrible, just horrible, I don't even know, so not a, not a party, that's for sure, um, but um, on the surgery front, I am. I have my consultation in like 16 days, and um, I have my letters for that. Finally, so I'll be going down there. Saw the PhD that I need to, and um, turning those in. Um, and I don't know. My mom's actually going to like look into maybe seeing what if she can get any days off work earlier than December, because um, I'm just to see if we can move up my surgery because I'm not doing very well on that front and um, I've had some really bad days with that recently and had a break had the worst day since transitioning like last week um, and just a lot of breakdowns and broke down to her on the phone too unintentionally and I think it made it really real for her and so she's been really supportive with that um, so I'll keep everybody updated on that front um, and yeah, so fingers crossed with that everything goes through with the insurance, and I don't meet the 12-month requirement of, like, living as fully as male for 12 months, and I know they make case-by-case -case ex exceptions, so I really hope that it's not something that gets in the way, um, so, like, half came out, like, last year a little bit and was living as male, but not fully, so, mm. but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, but I think that's it. The only other thing is, um, my coworker is in the process of trying to buy a house, and he's been doing that for, like, a few months, and it's just not been really going his way, and he was expressing some frustration a few weeks back, and just saying, you know, like, I just, I'm sick of this apartment, I want to get out of there, you know, I just feel like it's this place that I home and I just, like, live in, um, but it's not a home, like, I just, I just live there, and I was like, yeah, and, and whatnot, but in my head I'm thinking, like, yeah, man, I can totally relate, like, it's like my body like it's this thing that I live in doesn't feel like a home um, so I know it's getting closer and closer it's like I'm I'm it's like I'm building <laughs> I'm building a house right now that's gonna be my home um, essentially is what it feels like and I'm getting there slowly but surely and it's gonna be awesome when I uh, when I have that homecoming that's for sure. I, I can't wait to just love my body. Um, we're getting there. So, over and out.